little pig. This is Stormstar. Let's get it on. Woo! Christmas morning. Right, so I have been very, very kindly lent uh, a red label solo in Fletching Green uh, off a, a lovely chap online called Philip. Uh, Philip, you're absolute bonkers, sending me a bloody Hilleberg lend, £894.95 worth of tent, uh, when I've already got my tent of choice. Kuyu Stormstar which was at the time £538 worth of lovely goodness. So, two tents to play with tonight. Uh, first off, I've never even touched a Sulu before. Uh, my first time touching a Sulu, I'll tell you what, I like the feel of it. If it does, it feels pure quality uh, and watch what you can do. That, yeah. Can you do that with a Stormstar? No, the Stormstar it's quite rigid. Uh, the storm star sits inside your pack or outside your pack. It won't squash down like a solo. Then again, this is a two-man tent. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, this all in, yeah, a solo. It's a red label. It's a green one uh, with the bags, the pegs, the pools, the ground sheets. You're looking at 2.6. Uh, check it out online. Don't be going, no, it's only 2.1. Check it out online. 2.6 footprint bags. Uh, pegs, poles, all right. Uh, 2.6 all in with mine, yep. But I've got a, a custom ground sheet made of Lucy at Quintcraft, uh, so that'll knock mine up to three kilograms uh, or just under. Say two, two nine, just over two nine. That's probably better. I actually two, I two nine. Uh, so we're going to have a little play tonight. Uh, obviously, didn't want to do anything too ridiculous when I've got a tent that's on loan. <laughs> I lit up the Cheviots last week, and this is what happened up the Cheviots. King. Down I came. <laughs> There's no chance I was pitching a, 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 a lone tent up there in that. Uh, they both would have easily taken it, but pitching would have been a nightmare. Right, uh, talking of pitching, it's going to start to, uh, what do they call it? What do they call that stuff that soaks you right through? Ah, it's that light rain. Going to drizzle soon, I can see you coming in. Uh, we'll get the tents pitched up, I'll get a nice uh, a nice setup for a nice time lapse over there. Uh, we'll, just have a, we'll just have a nice play night, yeah. Right, I've not put up a solo before. Haha. <laughs> uh, right, make sure nothing blows away, Donna. Most important. I'm um, with we'll like what? Nine. 1600 pounds worth of tents tonight. <laughs> Just check I've not been followed there. Uh, great stuff, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> really used to putting this tent up obviously i've had it uh i had it yeah come april uh i must must be cap number 30 in it easy uh, so yeah i can get that up in three four minutes i uh, never put a solo up before uh phil i did watch some tutorials on youtube before i left the house so how are you? Let's put a solo up for the first time. Ooh. Hilly, hilly, hilly. It is. <laughs> nice bag, nice little clip there. That's not really going to come undone. Poles are a little bit thinner. Uh, yeah, Stormstar has got a 9.3 millimetre pool, I think. I'll have to check. Are these 8.5 or 9? Uh, I think I brought a spare one. Pegs. Original pegs. 
Yeah, mate, he keeps his gear good, don't you, Phil, eh? Right, so difference number one straight away. I am feeling that the poles are thinner. Uh, yeah, I, uh, that one, better quality poles. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I know, the, I know the Sulu's going to be it's a cracking good tent, obviously, isn't it? So I'll just get this done here. Winds are going to pick up the night. Uh, we'll just have a, a, a play with the two tents. A little bit of bend in the pools. You can see that, hold on. There's, there's some bend in the pools. Just on Sharon's purposes. Ooh. With the Hilleberg, you're getting the V shaped pegs, 12 of those, really good quality. Uh, with the Kuyu, you get at least 12 pegs, I'm unsure. I know you get six of them bit bad boys, so these are Y-shaped pegs. So you've got V's and Y's, that's the difference with the bigger ones. And then you get six of the smaller ones for the guys and stuff, uh, for the main pegging points. Uh, so they're about the same size, what's that? I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a guesser of inches, I'm not a man. Uh, yeah, nice, nice pegs. So at the minute my Kuyu is just pegged out with uh, four pegs, both freestanders obviously. Right, let's get our up. Obviously I'm not used to pitching the hilly so I don't know how long that took this. Uh, rocking a bit there, better get the guy lanes in. The wind is coming this way, so yes we've got gorse bushes there that are doing nothing. It's just a nice uh, secluded pitch. So that's why I, I chose it here and plus I just like the look of it. So nice view that way. Nice view that way. Unfortunately the wind's coming this way so both our doors, uh, that's me and my, uh, my ghost tent, uh, both of our doors is having to point uh, back our. Uh, Rita, I'll go, and get the, I'll go and get the girls pegged out. So yes, it's a single person tent. The last time I was in this, a one person tent was, whew, it was one of my first wild camps about seven or eight years ago. <laughs> it was like a coffin. Uh, this has actually got a slightly better head height than I was expecting. You can feel it would warm up lovely. Hold on. Why they've got metal zips on the door is beyond me. I think they could shave off a bit weight. Get like a bit more of a modern zip. Must be a reason for that. Yeah. And there's that famous Sulu ripple, the flappage. And I've got this drum tight. Uh, excuse me, I've got snotty nose. I've got this drum tight. I wanted to make sure I had it, uh, as I say, plugged into the ground perfectly because I'm not going to be sleeping in here tonight. I, I couldn't stand the noise. Uh, but I wanted to. Uh, Get the two tents up. I will have a night in it. Don't worry, but not tonight. Uh, but I definitely will have a night in it. Oh, that's a little bit of a sharp bit down there. I better get that sorted out. Uh, so yeah, you would heat up really well in here. That's here. Yeah. We have venting one. Obviously, just the one door because it's a uh, it's a Sulu. 
two small pockets, a little hanging things there. You could run it. You could run a small lane, a very small lane. A little lantern point up there. Not much to report. The zips would make a, a funny old jangle, wouldn't you? You'd think Santa was coming. Yeah, you'd have to afford to get something this expensive. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, aye. I think it's the ground sheets. Beautifully thick. Obviously, the, the, the massive difference between the two tents is actually the ground sheet. Yeah, this has got a 15,000 uh, hydrostatic head on the ground sheet, whereas your Kuyu only has a 5,000. Uh, if we want to get into tech, tech yeah, you've got a 1,200 Kulon. Uh, which is, sorry, uh, which is Hilleberg's own fabric, uh, and I believe it is, uh, is it coated with sill like three times or something? Uh, which makes it apparently a little bit heavy. Uh, I didn't think it was heavy, uh, but it's obviously it's every every uh, layer of sill to put on it. But you're not going to say anything about that because it's a mountain tent, isn't it? Uh, so yes, the Sulu. Uh, I'll stop rambling. Right, I'm going to go in there. Plug me, plug me, <laughs> plug your hardest. I'm gonna go and peg the air, me cooey out properly. Nicely lit up. I tell you what, it's such a still night. <laughs> uh, yeah. The gales raging everywhere else in the country. Check the weather forecast for within a 150 miles of Newcastle. This is where I've ended up because I had the best forecast. Uh, tents look super lush together. How lush do they look? The gentle ripple of the hilly. Winds change direction, so it's sort of hitting its side on. Kuyu standing proud as always. See, when I stand behind the gorse bushes, happy days. Uh, I'll stand in front of the tent so you can tell that they're getting the same amount of hit off the wind. It's not much window, is it? It's right in front of the Kuyu. Right in front of Zulu. Zulu Kuyu. It's nice to get some night shots in, isn't it? Ridiculously mailed as well. Still about to pick a tent like I'll go with Mikuyu. But I will be having a night in the Sulu possibly tomorrow. Right, I'm gonna make myself some tea. There's the stars coming out. Nice clear night tonight. Morning guys. So this is the state of play. We have one unslept in Sulu and one Kuyu that's had a Kali session in it. And you can see from the outside that we've got a lot of uh, a lot of moisture on the outside. That's because it froze last night. Uh, that tent was solid, rock solid, cardboard solid. Um, I, I, 
the, I didn't check. I was I was snugged up, man. I didn't check the thermometer. It had forecast to get down to minus three. I'll agree with that quite happily. I know it was. I know it was zero in the tent. Yeah, because I had a little thermometer up. Uh, so once it freezes, it has to thaw. We'll just look at the surrounding area. Water, water. Everywhere. And not a drop of drink. So you've got all this water around. I'm on a peninsula. A peninsula, that's really hard to see. I'm on this little bit of land that juts out a bit further than other bits of land. Oh, uh, the grass was wet when I pitched. There's a moist atmosphere. It's winter. So this is what happens. I'm going to have to get this a good old wipe down. Good practice to bring at least one G cloth and a pair of them gloves everyone's got. Uh, so yeah, the Kuyu, let's have a look. Uh, soaking, look at that. That is the inner. The fly, why is that soaking, Donna? Because it was frozen on the inside and it's got to defrost. Uh, that's the only reason it's soaking. It's defrosting. There's thick ice on there, you'll scrape your name in it. Uh, inside, first time ever I had a little bit of ice inside the tent. Uh, that's a new one on me, so it was chilly last night. Again, ice has to go somewhere, it doesn't just disappear. Uh, so I had a couple of little drips and drops around the wall perimeter uh, this morning, which I've not had before. So that must have been a funny little uh, climate last night up here. But yeah, I always carry a uh, kitchen roll and a J-cloth and stuff like that, so that gets wiped up. Not a problem. I'm just going to try and give the tent a little bit time here. Uh, it's not, not worse than packing and doing a, a wet tent, never mind two. Oh, I don't know, bring two tents up. Let's have a look at the Sulu. As you can see, we're quickly with the, the crew, you four season tent, rock solid. That is, that's gone nowhere, and that's got a door open. Yeah, it's going nowhere. Drum tight. Good looking as well in the dark, isn't it? Eh? Oh, that's a knee rubber, that tent. Uh, very lightweight, uh, Dyneema cord uh, with reflector points uh, running through the guy and uh, reflector lane locks. Uh, the sleeves the poles fit into. What's that? Two hands. That's got to be eight inches. Uh, and this is your X pack strengthening. That's a laminated material that they use for to make sails on uh, racing boats. That is strong as anything. Uh, clips. Nice and clippy. We never got to do this last night because I ran out of time. So that's your Kuyu. A, a, a beautiful thing. And look at the size of that, yeah? For, what, 200, 300, 250, 300 grams more than a Sulu. And I'll tell you what, that'll take a batter and that will. There's your Sulu this morning. And straight away you can see with the guy lines, a lot thicker, uh, don't reflect quite as well in the dark for some reason. Uh, line locks, similar but heavier. Again, the, the Sulu tent comes right down to the bottom and then some. Uh, that, that is butter, uh, better uh, with the length of the material on the overall the overall tent. The clips, chunkier, very chunky. Clips are very chunky and I like the way one goes this way and then one goes that way. That's nice and, again, it's chunky, isn't it? Uh, stable, sturdy, you'll trust that. You, you know, everyone knows to wrap it round. Uh, you actually do the same on the Kuyu. We've made these longer for the same thing, wrapping round, but these are lighter. Uh, can I just say the Kuyu has a lifetime worry on, warranty on it? So anything that did, you know, if this came away, yeah, heaven forbid, or the stitching came away or whatever, uh, yes, lifetime warranty. Same as I think uh, a Hilly has. Uh, the sleeves, pole sleeves, a lot, a lot longer on the, I mean, that's what, well, was, we'll just do hands this morning. <laughs> that's got to be three hands long for to fit your poles in. Uh, these are nine mil poles as opposed to the hill, uh, as opposed to the Kuyu's 9.3. But it's bloody noisy, isn't it? It's a good looking tent. It's stable. I tell you what, I mean, I'm not going to knock it. I knock the price of them. Yeah. It is a serious, serious tent of choice. Uh, whereas mine's still a little bit of the, the new girl on the block, or the new boy. If you get it in the other colours, it's a boy. Uh, personally, in that colour, I think it's a bit girly. So let's have a look inside this morning. Beautifully guyed out there, Philip. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Look at that, eh? There's your beauty shot. That's what, 
That's what you've sent me sent the tent for. I'll get one of them for you. Let's have a look inside. Bear in mind, no one has slept in here, okay? I can't not stand these metal bloody chunky zips. I can't not stand that. That's storm flap. Uh, again, thick quality. I mean, could they not replace that with something lighter? Surely they could make this tent a lot lighter. I don't know. Right, so, dry hand. Inside, what have we got? Oh, gosh, yeah, look at that. Uh, that is inside. No one's been in there the night. Inside of the fly, just a, probably the same. Right, you see it dripping off onto the... That's got quite moist. Yeah. Uh, be honest with this tent it just puzzles me because chunky good quality really oh that's not going to go anywhere look at that man mountain worthy and then you feel the material and it just feels that thin ah oh, it's a peculiar one uh me tell you then be a long segment this one it's uh scientific Let's have a look inside this would definitely well, i'm feeling the warmth in here straight away this would definitely have been the warmer of the two tents uh, but I don't know how well it breathes. Uh, I'll get the dry hand. Ah, bone dry inside. Obviously, no one's been breathing in there. Ugh. Bone dry on the inner. Obviously, nobody's been breathing in there. Uh, in the, the condensation on the inside with nobody in the tent, it's the grass breathing. That's life. Yeah, that's, that's planet Earth. Any tent's going to get that. So with somebody in the side door breathing as well, that is going to be uh, quite, quite a little swimming pool in there, isn't it? So, hold on. Uh, first thoughts. I'll be honest, I was a little bit uh, surprised at the, the lightness of the material of the curl on. I know it's got a massive, was it 12 kilogram uh, tear strength? I, I, I love tents, yeah. I might come across as jokey. I love the tech about tents. I love tents. I love talking about tents. Uh, right. So it's got a 12 kilogram tear strength. Uh, this one doesn't actually have an advertised tear strength. Uh, it, it, this, it, it's, it's snug. Uh, at the minute still, somebody says, that tent costs nearly a grand. This one costs 600. What do you want? Eh? I'd pick this one. I actually would. Right, so that's night one. Then Kuyu versus Sulu. And I know it's a bit of a funny one because Sulu's just a, a single person tent. But by just it's more about the quality, uh, the workmanship, the breathability of the tents, the livability of the tents. Uh, they're both top, top notch tents. It's an absolute pleasure to be out by myself with the two. Just want to play with them, look at them, go around and touch them. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look, yeah, look at me with two tents. Right, I'm going to take a picture. Uh, I'll catch you a little bit down there. I'm off to dry two tents, then pack two tents away. Uh, it's the only downside of two tent camping. <laughs>